So hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video of my channel. And today, um, today's video is going to be about aviation. And in aviation, I'm going to talk about um, how to bring a plane to a halt or to a stop. How do the pilots do it? Um, basically, an average weight of a plane is about two and a half lakh kilos. And that is like a lot. And to bring this um, plane to a stop at about 150 knots, it's, it's quite hard and it takes about three ways to stop the plane and these three ways are effective in order to stop the plane or to make the plane come to a halt on the runway upon landing so basically the first way is on the wheels so these wheels of an aircraft are huge like about 50 times bigger than a normal car tire and the functioning of these brake pads in the wheels of, a, of an airplane is basically the same way of how it works in a car in a car but once you press the brake the brake paddle the car comes to a stop as the brake pads are effective in that way and the same way in a plane but the um the brake pads in a plane are more bigger and they're and uh they are a humorous in number and the second way is the spoilers so the spoilers are powered by hydraulic presses on each side of the wing blade and to deploy each spoiler upwards and um, these also consist of many hydraulic um, pressures pushing the, sp the spoilers upwards so this can be automated and manually as well um, which is basically done by the pilots in the cockpit and the third way is um, the reverse thrusters. So these reverse thrusters, what are they? So basically, um, if you've gone on a plane and upon landing, if you've got a seat next to the engine, you observe to be um, two weird kind of things coming backwards, like opening something. That is the reverse thruster. So basically, these help a lot in stopping the plane upon landing on a runway. Hence, these push huge amounts of air forwards. So basically the engine thrust is pushed forward upon landing and this is done manually by the pilots. And hence it pushes air forward, forwards to, to um, bring the plane to a halt or to slow down the plane in order to stop upon landing. And also depending upon the amount of fuel present in the plane upon landing, it should uh, generally be low. And if it's too much, it can lead to um, a dangerous kind of an attempt to slow down, which is also very important. And this is also why pilots calculate the, um, cal um, so this is why pil pilots, they, cal they calculate um, how much fuel they're, they're um, gonna need for their um, distinctive journey that, that's gonna take from one place to, one, to another place, okay. So now you've understood how many um, um, movements are involved in the stopping of a plane. Do subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Peace out.